Time for power flow. In this section, we are always going to be doing some version of some salutations and some Pio push-ups. So we're going to get you moving right away. Face side with me on your mat. Shoes are on or off. Standing tall, ready for our sun salutations. You gonna join us, Chase? He likes to come in and out of the video. Here we go. Inhale, reaching out, and exhale, fold down. Half lift, and fold, stepping back to plank. Chaturanga, sinking down, and then up dog. Down dog. Step or hop through. Sweep up and end in chair. Let's repeat this chair. Just keeping your hands in prayer, sitting back through your heels to warm up the legs. Here we go again in the same way. Sweep up and down. Half lift, fold, back to plank. Strong arms, keep those elbows in tight as you lower down, and then up dog or cobra. Only difference, cobra, your legs are down on the mat. Up dog, your legs are lifted off the mat. Either one's fine. Down dog. Chase is back. <laughs> Step or hop up. Sweeping up, hands in prayer. Let's flow through chair. So feeling really balanced. While you sit back, body weight goes back into your heels. You should be able to wiggle your toes a little bit. Shoulders are down. Starting to feel warm already. Here we go again. Sweep up and down. Half lift, fold, back plank. Chaturanga down and up dog. Down dog. Step or hop through, sweep up, and into chair. Good, that's our standard sun salutation series. We're going to play with it, add on a little bit this time. Sitting back in a chair a few more times. All right, let's start this off. Sweep up and down. Half lift, fold back to plank. Chaturanga down. Up dog and down dog. Now we play around with it from here. Let's lift the right leg up in the air, three-legged dog. We're going to swing that right foot outside your right hand. So you're in this low lunge and we're going to lift and lower the hips. So we're really going to open them up, stretch them out. If your back knee needs to be down on the mat, that's fine. You can still move your hips possibly a little bit. The more you do this, the more you'll find that hip flexibility. So just try. As we step back to down dog, we're gonna do the same thing. Let's go with the left leg up in the air. Step outside that left hand. So we're in that low lunge, same thing. So as we lift the hips, it's kind of like we're straightening that front leg and then bending back into it again. Down dog, hips up, step or hop through. Let's sweep up and in chair. Keep flowing through chair. As we're doing this, if it becomes too much, this is your chance to maybe stand in mountain, take a couple deep breaths, regather yourself so you're ready to go again. Feel free to change things along the way. Make them your own. All right, let's go again. Sweep up. And down. Half lift. Fold back to plank. Same thing. Chaturanga down. And up dog. As I look at my dog. Down dog. All right, this time let's lift that right leg again. Three legged dog. This time step it between your hands. So we're in that low lunge, but we're going to change this to lower the back knee and call in this warrior one on one knee. So facing the narrow end of your mat, just reaching those arms up, everything's balanced. We're going to bring both hands down and we're going to twist open towards me. So that right hand is up. 
Good, set it back down. Let's go back to down dog. And lift the left leg up, same thing. Three-legged dog. Step that foot between the hands, just for a moment. And then we lower the back knee right under your hip. Come on up, nice and tall. Take a breath. As we bring the hands back down, now you're facing away from me because the left arm is gonna twist open. Feels good. Bring that hand back down, back to down dog. Step or hop through, sweep up, and into chair. Let's do this a few more times. We need to warm up the, the core, muscles, and upper body some more. So here's where we step back and move into our pile push-ups. So I want you to inchworm down, crawl those hands out to plank, three push-ups. If you need to lower your knees, fine. But I want you to try to keep those elbows in. That's the challenge. They're tricep push-ups. So keep those elbows like they're touching your rib cage when you come down. And then you can stay there or you can crawl the hands back, roll up through the spine. Big sweep and come on back down. Set two of three. Come on, three strong push-ups. You don't have to lower your chest all the way down. Halfway is good. And then come back up. Roll, big reach, and down again. Come on, three more. Smooth and strong. Come on up. Everybody up, roll through the spine. Wonderful, roll those shoulders back. Stand facing me with nice wide legs. Moving on to our, our moon flowers. So make sure those legs are wide and your toes and knees are turned out as you lower the elbows into that deep plie squat and then you reach everything upward. So find, find the rhythm with your breath here. I like to exhale and sink down and then big inhale to reach up. So maybe you're moving faster or slower to match your own breath. Oh, wonderful. Warming up the back muscles. Really squeeze those elbows back behind you a bit. You'll feel your upper back warming up, as well as, of course, the legs. Let's hold our sun pose for a moment. Shoulders down, head up. If you want to lift the heels, there's your bonus. All right, we're gonna go right into warrior two. So I want you to turn, this will be your left leg so that it's pointing the narrow end of your mat, while well, the rest of your body really stays facing me. But we're gonna go ahead and bend into that left knee, and then reach those arms out. There's your strong warrior two position. Looking out over your arm, holding it to start. We're gonna turn the palms up, and we're gonna straighten the leg, and then bend into it. So here's our movement to help us become a little more flexible and get us a little deeper into that warrior two. So we continue to work on bending that knee over the ankle and then straighten it up. Let's move on to reverse warrior. So drop that back arm as you reach on up, arching over, re-bend that front knee when we're holding here for now. Feel that length, feel that stretch through the side of your body. From your hand all the way down to your hip. All right, let's make it a side angle. So we're tilting over the other way. Develop that straight line from fingertip to toe. As you lean over, maybe lean on that thigh a little bit, or maybe you're allowing the arm to hang here. Still bending into that front knee, otherwise it'd be triangle, and this is side angle. Now, if you can get even deeper, great, but I don't want you to try to round forward to get there. If you're here though, it's kind of fun to try to wrap. It's okay if you can't, but either way, I want you to drop that front arm so it's behind your back. Don't twist your wrist, make it so the back of your hand is on the back your lower back, 
and maybe this arm's here hanging because you're up higher, that's fine, this is fine. But if you can get lower and you can reach back behind, great. Something to work towards, gaining that flexibility to get there. All right, coming out of this one. Ooh, ooh. All right, bringing those feet, squaring off again for moonflowers. I'm gonna continue moving, continuing, staying warm, keeping the heart rate slightly elevated. So we're not just gaining flexibility and balance, we're getting a workout here too. Burning some calories, using those legs, getting into this deep squat. Last one, we hold our sun pose. Drop those shoulders down, keep the head up high. Put a smile on your face, lift the heels, you got it. Ouch. All right, side turning. So this time your right leg is facing the other narrow end of your mat, and we go right into warrior two. Adjust. The wider the legs, the better. You can get real deep into it, keeping that front knee over your ankle. And looking out over that arm, over to your fingertips. Breathe. Palms up, we're gonna add some movement. Straighten the leg and bend. Yeah, and whenever you can come back to moving with your own breath, the better. Let's go one more. We move into that reverse warrior. Drop the back arm, arch over, reaching up to the, towards the ceiling. Rebend that front knee. Hold it there. Stay positive about yourself and your pose right now. You're doing great. Let's get to that side angle. So leaning over, remember that straight line through this arm, your body, down that leg, really reach long. And you can stay right in this position here. You can work up towards dangling the arm or even getting a little bit lower into it. If you're not there though, it's really best to stay high. Give your body a chance to be ready for this pose, don't force it. Those of you who want to try wrapping the arm back here, great. And then if you're low enough, the bottom arm comes around. Possibly you can reach your fingertips to touch behind your back, behind your leg. Unwrapping, coming on up out of that. Back to moonflowers, staying warm, sweating even. That's your proof that you worked out, right? Again, deep breaths through your nose. into your right leg. Give yourself a chance to focus. If you're not ready for pigeon, maybe stay here. It looks like, looks like tree. That's fine. If you're ready to cross the leg over and this knee is out to the side, just like tree, that's really the only difference. Instead of having your foot on the inside, it's crossed over your thigh. And then you sit into it like you're sitting in chair. 
So find a good focal point out on the floor in front of you. You don't have to look at the screen right now. I want you to just breathe and try to hold your pose. It's fine to come down and reset. Move slowly into it again. You can change your hand placement. If you don't want them out wide, you'd rather have them in prayer or on your hips. Whatever works for you. Wonderful. Let's try the other side. Let's see how you do. Putting your body weight on your left leg this time. Again, start like you're in tree. Don't feel bad about staying right here and finding that balance on the one leg. And when you're ready to move into it, if you're ready for pigeon, you cross the leg, find the balance before sitting back. Remember to breathe. Nice and smooth through your nose. Find that focus. I know you're doing great at home. All right, come on out of it. Okay, I'm gonna face side so you can see. Clasping my hands behind my back, and I'm just gonna hold them there for now as we sit in the chair and straighten back up. This is part of it. Moving slowly. Now, as we bend our knees to sit in the chair, we're gonna lift those hands away from our lower back and fold forward, and those hands are up towards the ceiling. You're gonna bring the hands back to your lower back and stand tall again. So here we go, sit first into it. Then fold, bringing the hands up. Head down. Replace the hands in your lower back. Stand tall. Once more. Getting a good chest opener here. All right. We're going to do the same thing in Warrior One. So taking your right leg, big step back, keeping your hips and shoulders square now to the front of your mat. It's our Warrior One. We bend into that front knee. Finding that pose, and then we're going to. Clasp those hands behind our back, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to fold and lift the hands to the ceiling. Hold here just for a moment, a breath. Lower the hands and come up. We do it a couple more times. Keep the knee bent in front. Fold, lift the hands. Lower the hands, come up. Once more. Fold. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna turn around so my other leg is forward. Remember, this is warrior one, so hips stay in the same direction as that, that front knee, that front foot. Find that pose first, then clasp the hands. Same thing, nice and slow, hinge forward. Lift the hands towards the ceiling. Lower the hands and come up. Keep the knee bent, go again. It's okay if the hands don't go very far away from your lower back. That's all right. Pull those shoulders back. Just opening the chest one more time. Hinge and lift. Down. Unclasp the hands. Come back. Face me. Just swing the arms. Elephant swings. Loosen it up. Wonderful. Let's come down to the floor. So facing side, let's get one big reach up and then fold. Hang here for maybe just a moment. Oh, love I have to hang. All right, moving on to hands and knees. So let's get there. Their knees under our hips and wrists under our shoulders. Let's try some bird dog. It's also considered spinal balance because we are going to balance our body. By extending the right leg first, so keep it in line with your spine, keeping everything, keeping your body parallel to the floor, parallel to your mat. As we take the opposite arm, make sure it's opposite. So left arm reaches forward. As long as they're opposites, that's what we need. Keep 
your head down so that your neck is an extension of your spine, so it's straight and in line with your spine as well. We're gonna bring that knee in, tap it lightly, and extend out again. Nice and smooth, slow motion, come in and tap, extend again. Couple more, in and out. Last one, in and out, hold it here. Lower both down, sit back into child's pose. Give the lower back a stretch. Come up again, so you have another side to do. So take it slow. Make sure you're switching sides here. After you're set, feeling good with your leg out extended, get that opposite arm reaching forward. Look down at the mat, hold it here. Feel that length through your body, reaching. Slow motion, come in and tap the knee and extend again. Finding that power, finding that core strength to move with control in and out. One more. Bring the hand and knee down. Back to child's pose, but we're going to be flowing from one pose to another on the floor down here. Starting with child's pose, and those fingertips reach towards the front of your mat. We're going to come up into plank on our knees, so drop the hips. Use your arms, sink all the way down. Cobra. Keeping the legs down, but extending the arms. And maybe you don't even lift the arms so that they're straight. They can still be bent, that's okay. Back into child's pose. And we're just gonna repeat that. So coming forward, drop the hips in plank, sink down, cobra, down, press back into child's pose. A couple more times on your own, keep going. Yes, we're working those triceps again. Same thing as our tricep push-ups. We keep the elbows in as we sink down and push up. So yes, perhaps I've tricked you into doing more tricep push-ups. Keep going. This is how we get strong. And one more. Wonderful. Let's go so that we drop all the way down, chest down to the mat. We're gonna do locusts, so arms are alongside your body. Feel your thighs squeezing in towards each other. Your shoulders are squeezing behind your back. And now we're going to lift upper body and lower body. Doesn't look like much, but we feel this on our backside. Takes a lot of strength. Breathe while you're here, keep your neck straight. Moving on to bow. Bend the legs. If you can grab a hold of the feet, wonderful. Then we push the feet back and it's gonna pull up the upper body. So continue to keep that tension pressing away into your hands. Awesome, let it go. Bring those hands flat to the mat. Push yourself back into an easy child's pose. Let's even this out. We worked our backs. Let's work the abdominals just for a moment. Moment in boat pose. So if you like to uh, strengthen your core some more, definitely check out the core strength section of this. You'll see a lot more abdominal and back exercises but we're just throwing this in for you today. 
Lean back into this, keep your shoulders back. Awesome. Cross your legs. You did it. Great job. 